Welcome back, humanity. This is Dave, and let's play some more Bloodborne. In our last episode, we developed, we discovered, rather, a whole new section of this here, Odin Chapel. And we discovered that it led to a whole new section of town we haven't even been in yet. That's actually under the chapel. The chapel was built on top of it. This whole fucking town is just... Layer upon layer upon layer, like a bunch of scar tissue. It's just... Oh, man. Get get here quick so I can get that health back. No? Ah, you bastard. Stab you. Oh, man, again. At least I got vials off of him. Okay, fine. We run. Oh, damn. At least only one shot hit us. And we've got... Well, we're at full strength. But I still see no reason not to kill these guys. Okay, that might have been a reason not to kill these guys. Hey, come here. Yes, please run right into my holy blade. fine. That was just an ill-advised little segue there. We may even just chop it out. And oh, our little go our little boy is gone. Our little dude is gone. Yeah. Ah. See, there's a much easier way to drop from the other side. But okay. Thank you. Note on the floor. Those with faith will be spared. Okay. Yep, let's trust the note on the floor, you guys. Ouch. Too far. Worst platforming in the world. Yeah, that's pretty creepy, though. That's pretty difficult. Pretty precarious. Okay, what we've really got to focus on, though, is how you get over there. Take a step forward, it said, because we bounced off of that platform. Yeah. Those with faith will be spared. How did you die? I'm trying to do it that way. You died trying to do it that way. Yeah, okay. So, what we need to do is try it this way. Yes! Okay. Yeah, seems legit. now all we got to do is come on come on Carrie come on work with me girl okay reeks of insight and you're in the know right let's find out am I is this the door I think it is no Holy crap on a crap cracker, you guys. Uh... 
Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Holy crap. It's another dream. It's another dream world. Oh, shit. You hear that? That's somebody. Yeah. Holy crap. What the hell is another dream world doing? Right over here. It's the same. It's the same architecture and everything except no tombstones. No to Same layout. Except instead of... Yeah, instead of the... You know, Ash Lake, we see... The rest of Yarnum, the rest of the Cathedral Ward. That round fucking platform there, where we fought those two hunters. There's the clock tower. Where we fought Vicar Amelia. Source of the dream. Yes. Dreams often have some kind of real world source. Oh god. Oh god, how did you die? How did you die, dude? You just keeled over dead. No. No. Okay. The doll's clothes. Oh. F Jesus. A discarded doll's hat. Likely a spare for dress up. A deep lull. A deep love for the doll can be surmised by the fine craftsmanship of this article and the care with which it is kept. It borderlines on mania and exudes a slight warmth. It's got nothing but frenzy resistance. But... Huh. Yeah, the rest say the same thing, don't they? Make sure. Yes, yes, yes. Huh. Okay. Ooh. Old hunter bone? What the hell? Not there. Not there. There, not there. Well, what the hell? Ah! The bone of an old hunter whose name is Lost. It is said he was an apprentice to old German and a practitioner of the art of... Quickening! A technique particular to the first hunters. It is most appropriate that hunters, carriers of the torch, who are sustained by the dream, would tease an old art from his remains. Ooh. <gasps> yes, please. One third of an umbilical cord. Don't tell me that's a consumable. Yes, a great relic, also known as the cord of the eye. Every infant great one has this precursor to the umbilical cord. Every great one loses its child and then yearns for a surrogate. The, the third umbilical cord precipitated the encounter with the pale moon which beckoned the hunters and conceived the hunter's dream used to gain insight and so they say eyes on the inside 
Although no one remembers what that truly entails. <laughs> okay. Oh, and look at it. It's like, oh. It's like a tentacle with eyes in it. It's, to, oh. Okay. Wow, I just want to stare at that item description for hours and holy shit and ponder its implications. An abandoned doll who's really creeping me out because it looks like her eyes follow you as you go around the room. Because they totally do. No, they don't. It's just... Holy crap. And who are you? you yeah okay but wow small hair ornament A small, very ordinary hair ornament, although it has been lost for quite some time. One can still see signs of the care with which this tasteful ornament was kept. Its color would stand out most brilliantly against a head of grayish hair. Like, say, yeah, like, say, a doll's, a, a, a doll's hair? Yeah? Huh? Holy shit. Okay, wow. Um, hang on a second, you guys. My mind just got blown out the back of my head. The third umbilical cord precipitated the encounter with the pale moon, which beckoned the hunters and conceived the hunter's dream. Loses its child and then learn, yearns for a surrogate. And I can use this stupid thing? No, absolutely not. Not yet. Jesus Christ, I have no idea what that does. Use to gain insight, it says. Like, how much? And fuck, man. Fuck. This was the basis for the dream. Something happened here. And it totally... Oh, it fucked people's shit up, obviously. The, every, and every great one loses its child and then yearns for a surrogate, say a doll, right? Or, 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 hu or humanity? Or uh, did the Great Ones create humans because they yearned for real children that they, for some reason, couldn't have themselves? I mean, is it like the... what? Is it like the Q? They just got so damn evolved that they, you know, lost the <clears throat> knack, as it were? I mean, what? And what the hell is... Oh, is this just doing here on this outcropping well better question what the hell is the hunter's dream doing wherever the hell it is as if it's anywhere it seems to have been a legend because you know the description to Eileen the crow's outfit has been popping up over and over again and it always says the first hunter of hunters, you know, imposed, uh, gave a, gave a kind of a funeral service to the hunter they killed, right? And so they, um, where is it? Yeah. Yeah. Instead of a blasphemous yarnum ritual, they prayed. Oh, and look at all the slots for storage and weapons. They prayed that the hunter that had gone mad would ascend to a dream world 
beautiful dream world. Kind of like this. And here we are, right? Here it is. Beautiful dream world. Where, you know, the moon is always out, even though it's always day. It's always a kind of pale afternoon. The trees are always green with springtime. And the doll here is always ready to say... Welcome home, good hunter. Yep. What is it you desire? Give small hair ornament, please. What? What is this? Hmm. <laughs> it's yours. I, I can't remember. Not a thing, only I feel... Yep. <laughs> a yearning, something I never felt before. I'm sure. What's happening to me? You're recovering. <gasps> Tell me, Hunter. Could this be joy? It could. Yes, you're recovering <sighs> a past life, dear. Tear stone. Tear stone. Used to gain a droplet blood gem. That fortifies any weapon. A doll sheds neither blood nor tears, and thus its nature remains unknown. Whoever thinks this is precious must be troubled by severe naivete. Oh, you trolling from soft. You fucking trolling hard. And I appreciate it. But in the same time, though, they have a good point. Use Tear Blood Gem. Wait, it probably has its own description. Yes. Blood Gem that fortifies weapons and adds various properties. Droplet Blood Gems are special gems that adapt to various weapons and shapes. Created from a shining silver doll tear, this Blood Gem is a quiet but unflattering, unfaltering friend. That continuously restores HP, the life essence of a hunter. Hell yes. Prepare. Perhaps the doll's creator had wished for just such a friend, albeit in vain. Fucking A right. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. We are slotting that in to slot one. HP continues to recover. Plus two. Yes. Yep. Yep, we are putting that shit right there. And uh, for the sauce beer, let's see, is there anything? Yep. Ooh. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes! <laughs> okay, so. Something happened. Motherfuckers came into contact with... Oh, first we thought it was just their blood. And that would be bad enough, yes. But no, the umbilical cord... Of an old one. Oh, one third of it, no less. The third precipitated an encounter with, oh, which beckoned the hunters and conceived the hunter's dream. We don't know what the pale moon is, uh, apart from the obvious. We don't know what encountering it will do, uh, apart from something weird and possibly awful. But what we do know is, <laughs> this has been... A very awesome, revelatory, and wonderful episode here. So, Jesus fucking Christ, I gotta go away and, and grok this, like, real hard. In f before I even get close to grokking it in fullness. But thank you all for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. And in the mean, I will see you next time. When we play more Bloodborne. <laughs> Bye.